Hey YouTube, thanks for joining me today. Um, I want to show you another common problem, but I wouldn't call it the problem again. Another common uh, maintenance that you have to perform on your uh, 221 in this case, but it's uh, all Mercedes have the same uh, engineering. Uh, you wake up in the morning and you find water inside your car after a big uh, rain, after a big storm or something like that. Let me turn the vacuum off for a second. Yeah, much better. You wake up in the morning and you have uh, water inside your car and now uh, you touch the floors or something like that and you feel it's really wet. Uh, that's in the good condition. Bad condition, you can't start the car, there is no electricity some stuff doesn't work and you're not sure why uh, this video will give you a tutorial on uh, some kind of uh, general maintenance that you have to do on the car to make sure that situations like that don't happen uh, the water will when uh, when it rains the water is supposed to be routed through different uh, drainage uh, throughout the car some of them if you live under trees or you live uh, in the environment or sometimes in the spring when there is a lot of pollen, in that case, uh, on this car, there was a lot of pollen clogging down the drainages. Uh, it will clog down the drainage, and what happens after the drainage is clogged, the water starts to uh, climb into the electronics. This is, for example, uh, left uh, signal acquisition module. The water will climb through the drainages and past the drainages. For example, the rain hits down the windshield here and starts to go down, so you have three different spots. That the rain is supposed to drain away from the car this is one of them so the rain will go from here travel through that drain it go into this one here and from here will drain down to the side of the car that come from the side of the fender under the uh, under the fender liner you see where it's dripping there so i filled it up with water to see if it's clogged and obviously you can see that let me show you let me pour some water and you'll see So you see that if I pour water, let's see how it travels. You see how it travels and it goes down to the drain. And start to fill it up. Whoop, you see the water? Now what happened is when it's raining hard, of course it's not going to drain fast enough if it's partially clogged. And the water is going to start then climb over the drain and drain into the electronics. And then from here, they can get into the cabin itself, so the cabin is going to be full of water to put the water away. So one of the routine maintenance that you have to do on your bends, you got to make sure uh, that uh, you tell your technicians to uh, clean the drainage for you. Uh, this is one of them. In that case, there are three of them here. There are some on the sunroof itself. Um, water, it's not a problem if water gets through the sunroof. It's a problem if they get into the car. Now, if your drainages, there is one here that will run parallel and one that will run here to the back line, fender liner. Problem is if the drainage is clogged, the water from here will start to pour from the inside, from the apron, a, uh, um, a pillar, will uh, drain start to go inside the car so you'll see water coming in. Besides that, it can uh, rust your roof and cause other problems. So uh, this video is about uh, preventive maintenance, how to make sure you don't get water into your cabin and cre uh, creating, causing electric issues. Clean your drainages. One of them is over here. The other ones are over there in the middle and you got another one on the right side. If you keep your drainages clean, you'll prevent the much uh, more severe damage to your electronics and of course to the carpets and bed smells and stuff of that nature. Thanks for viewing my uh, YouTube today, sign to my channel, and uh, of course if you have any questions you can always uh, write me an email or just drop a line on this YouTube and I'll respond as fast as I can. Thanks.